And we have this peculiar thing right here, which I think is a brain, but it could be bowels. Ah, uh, yes, it is in fact intestines. How sick! Wait, here's the brain underneath. That's the problem with humanity. Our intestines are bigger than our brains. Let's play a game. <laughs> All right, guys, today we are in Bend, Oregon at what appears to be some sort of maybe an outlet mall. I see we have a Columbia clearance store over here, Eddie Bauer, Maurice's Play It Again Sports, hoodies, sports cards, and over here I even see a Nike store which I just may be compelled to go in. But right here in front of me, guys, in this spot, which used to be a Tuesday morning, is now a spirit Halloween. Ooh, that's a pretty cool picture right there with the sun just peering from above. Yeah, I like that. All right, let's go ahead in and check out what they have right here, right now, in Bend, Oregon. So I heard this sound when I first came in, guys, and I'm like, what in the heck was that? I thought it was maybe the door or something. And then I looked down, it's Bubba peering out at me. He must be on the sensor, but where the heck is the sensor? There he is. He's not very loud, and the first time he jumped out, I didn't hear him barking. But yeah, if you follow the string over here, the step pad must be right under there as you come in the door. How cool is that? And then I see this little guy hiding here too, which I believe they're trying to have the same effect because I see that there is a string taped to the floor going over here, but I don't know where you have to step to get the jumping spider to jump. Come on, sir. Come on. There he goes. <laughs> I knew it! That is actually pretty cool, guys. This is the first store that I've been in that has had stuff set up like that. What a great idea. All right, yeah, so this store looks to be a little smaller than some of the other ones that we've been in. This is a former Tuesday morning. I see right at the door here we do have some animatronics for sale. We have two Slims right here. We have two Stilts, a.k.a. Papa Pins. We have this three banger killer clowns inflatable right here and we have a sam greeter you gotta love the black and orange halloweeny spirit halloween shopping baskets okay and as i enter i'm trying to think is there something specific that i am looking for that i have not found yet in other stores Holy crap, yes, and there it is, and I'll show you in just a minute. But first, let's go around and say hello to the haunters of the Spirit Hallows Cemetery. And first up, we have Gorgeous George. Come on, George. Wow, he is really loud. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe how loud he is in this store, guys. So this is a smaller setup, but we do still have the gargoyles of death and the flames of death. And let's see. Yes, we have the widow over here. All right, let's see if we can get her going. So somebody online was saying that they were looking for stores that did not have the widow set up because their kid was like really scared of the widow. And the thing is that you're in luck if you're in that position because in every store that I've been to, as you walk in, like this is the setup here, and the widow is basically hidden around this side and way deep inside that chamber. So she's very easy to stay away from. All right, let's come around here. I'm assuming we're going, no, I thought we'd have Slim set up here, but we have Gordo, all right. All right, let's get Gordo going here. Come on, Gordo. He's not lighting up very much here. His lights must not be working, but he did jump nice and his guts are hanging nice. One of my favorite things about Gordo is the sounds. It's all those spooky Halloween sounds like you would hear on the old Halloween spooky sounds records. And over here we have the straw man. This, when the border between worlds grows, 
I know I've said this before, but it always cracks me up when he's in this spot because he's just like jammed up in there where he doesn't really fit. All right, guys, it looks like they have boxes of animatronics not set up, but I mean like on the floor for sale, spread out throughout the entire store. So we're going to check those out. Starting with this guy right here, Mrs. Leatherface, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface animatronic right there. Let's go on over here, guys, because I see a young Crouchy. And then we have Darling Dolly, who I have yet to buy, but she's in a giant box and won't fit in my car. Over here, I see we have a Desmodus. Hold on, let me back up in here. Yep, there he is, Mr. Desmodus. We have a stuffed dummy prop on top, as well as a bouncy Sam head. On the other side, we have another Desmodus, and we have an empty soul girl on a swing, and the swinging witch. Sinister spirit doll up here. We have the black heart here. We have another black heart there. We have a fogging skull pile on the bottom. Oh my gosh, guys, they have a whole bunch around, like, every corner. Let's make our way back here. Look at this. They have three howling spirits here, right beside the ham hock for sale. I see the hook eye guy, but I do not see a hook head hog. All right, we got two darling dollies over here we have another swinging witch stuffed dummy prop this little scary flying ghost doesn't get enough attention in these videos hello scary flying ghost somebody else online was asking about this black light paint have any of you bought this and used it and how well does it actually work they have so many empty soul girls on swings in this store guys and look we have some creepy crimson girls on the swings more of the swinging witches lots of talking haunted dolls but i have only seen crouchy in one store this season guys i believe that was in california why am i so intrigued by the employees only door what kind of spookiness lurks back there all right i see some cauldrons let's leave some stickers in there we have an eternal rest hiding over here underneath the posable spiders of course we have a thousand jumping spiders here okay maybe not a thousand but a few let's see there's six 12, 17. Okay, I was way off. We have the creeping cats and carrots and the secret keeping cats, but I don't see scabs anywhere. Three of the 55 inch floor candelabras. Those are spooky. We got skull stacks and pumpkin stacks, and then we have these little guys over here that we've been seeing in stores recently. And we have this peculiar thing right here, which I think is a brain, but it could be bowels. Ah, uh, yes, it is in fact intestines. How sick! Wait, here's the brain underneath. That's the problem with humanity. Our intestines are bigger than our brains. And look at this, guys. Something else I have not seen in these stores yet. Right on top of all the bouncy pillows, we have this. Look at this. It says, Violet, you're turning violet. Does anybody know what that's from? There's no face on her. What the heck? That is actually from Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. They have plush Sallies and plush Crouchies. I love how they're all sitting there, like, looking so comfy, watching everything that's happening in the store. We're going to go back and look at those masks in just a minute here. But I want to continue around this way to look at more animatronics over here. And look at this. They have a sitting scarecrow just sitting randomly out here. This appears to be the regular sitting scarecrow. And he has some blind bags in his bucket. Let's see if he's on his sensor. Yes! <laughs> All right, very, very cool. So cool that we're gonna go ahead and add some stickers. And right beside him, guys, we have a Emmeline, who I have not yet bought either, but she's in a huge box and won't fit in my car. We have another Papa Pins here. A whole plethora of zombie babies, but yet again, I am not seeing a burrito baby. Have you seen the burrito baby? No. Have you seen the burrito baby? No. Have you seen the burrito baby? Have you seen the burrito baby? No, but I've seen the Lord. All right, on the end we have tiny terrors, guys. We have all of them. How cool. We have the leather face, which in my opinion is probably the best looking one 
out of all of these, except for I don't know why he doesn't have a chainsaw. I do kind of like the hammer, and it fits, but I do wish he had a chainsaw. We have Sam here with his sucker, and oh, we don't have them all. We have Leatherface, Sam, and we have Ghostface, but we do not have Pennywise. Whoa, have we seen this one yet? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Wreath? Look at this, we got a skull up here. It's parts of a skeleton. A skull, we have the arms and the hands, and then we have random bones hanging on the bottom. Oh my gosh, look at this. They even have a picture of Mama in the chair. At first I thought that was Nubbins, but that's Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. And right outside this aisle we have even more animatronics. Look at this, guys. We have Desmodus here. We have a young Crouchy on the top here. We have a straw man here. We have two little skelly bones down there. In fact, if we come around the other side, you can see there is a third little skelly bones and a The Widow and the Eternal Rest on the bottom. And unless there are more lurking around the corners, I think that's all the animatronics in the store. So I do want to come over here and show you this before I forget, because this is what I saw when I first walked in, guys. The Killer Clowns from Outer Space popcorn gun. This is literally only the second store that I have seen this in. And I think this is store number 31 for the season. They also have the acid pies. They have the cotton candy guns down here. But this is the one that I've only seen in two stores. Now, I'm not gonna buy it. I just wanted to see it again just to get a close look. And it looks totally awesome. Look at the popcorn up in there. I wish I could see like what it does. Like if you actually turn the crank, does that popcorn bubble in there? I think it does. And I could be wrong, but I'm thinking my son, that other Nate guy on YouTube, may have already bought that. And I can't remember guys, is that Jumbo right there? I'm pretty sure it is. All right, wait, they have Killer Clowns costumes here. Let's just take a look at these. Oh yeah, yeah, cause here he is with the three spiked up green hairs there. Three single hairs on his head. I like this chick version of the shorty. That is pretty cool and I love how she's holding that cotton candy. Let's not forget to be putting stickers around in the buckets. All right, let's take a minute to look at this haunted mansion stuff here because I haven't spent a lot of time on it recently. Look at this. They have three different kinds of the fleece throws. This one up here is really cool. It's almost like panels showing the characters. Then we have be Beware of the Hitchhiking Ghosts. And then we just have this regular Haunted Mansion one over here, which is actually double-sided. So it has like this print on the one side and that print on the other. Haunted Mansion Door Knocker, ooh. That took a while. I thought he was going to talk like right off the bat there. We have this little haunted mansion plaque here. Let's see, we have the hanging bat decor, a table runner, light up metallic mantle scarf. That's pretty cool right there. Wall decor panels. That's kind of like what we were looking at on that plush throw up there. Metallic tablecloth. And look at these. I wonder if these like, okay, I thought maybe when you move this back and forth, it would be like that lenticular thing, but it's not, it's just that picture there, which is cool anyway. And this one too, that is actually pretty dang spooky. And what's this Haunted Mansion book? Is it an actual book? Is it like, oh, it's like a, it's like a diary or a journal. That is actually pretty cool right there. I love how the front is like 3D. So if you look at it sideways, you can see it actually sticks out. Here's a couple stickers for Constance Hatchaway. Ooh, all right, let's look at the side steppers here. I see they do have the ghost face. They have Lydia here. They have Sam. They have Frankenstein, Spiky, but I do not see Chucky or Leatherface. Never know though, in this store, they have a lot of stuff set in different areas. So if we just look around, we might find them. Guys, isn't it so cool just to stand in one place and kind of pan around and look at all the awesomeness that we are surrounded by in the spirit Halloween stores. Not to mention right behind me we have some Chucky greeters, we have this Chucky talking doll. You know who I am. And if you know what's good for you, you are going to 
You can't hear him because he's inside the box, but he's so cool. We have several Annabelles here, Sam Greeters, we have a Sam Sitting Doll. We don't have any Chuckies, and I don't see any Glens here. Let's peek over here just in case. No, I thought maybe they'd have a random one sitting over there. We have some more plush over here. We have Lydia from Beetlejuice. We have Adam and what the heck is her name, Barbara. And we have both of the Sam Dolls, this one here with the burlap head, and this one with the rotting pumpkin head. Ooh, here's the setup for all the backpacks and those will be coming soon. Pretty soon when you come in here, they're all going to be right here. Let's look at these door covers for a minute because these are pretty dang cool and I don't think I've seen them all, including this one right here from Trick or Treat. I don't know if I've seen this one or not. It's a wall decor. It's not actually a door cover. You just hang this on your wall. But look at this. His face is burlap with part of it ripped away and you can see the rotting pumpkin face on the inside. Here's a couple of door covers here. We have... Ghost face breaking out through the door. We have Reagan crawling backwards down the steps. I do not like that. Go away, Miss Evil. We have this door cover with Chucky breaking out through the glass. We have another wall hanger here with uh, Pennywise. And this one is almost the same with Ghost face breaking out through here. But on the door cover, he's breaking out through the glass door. And on the wall decor, he's just breaking out through, I don't know, some fabric or something, I guess. Look at this. We have hocus pocus decor panels i guess this is this must be two panels that go on either side of your door that's actually pretty cool i like that you could get that and put billy butcherson's head right down at the bottom here's another door cover with frankenstein now that one looks pretty awesome i love how it's kind of like the lab in the background there we got leatherface breaking out through well no he's not breaking out through the door he's about to slam the door shut i like how you can see the skulls on the wall inside behind him here's a michael myers yeah, that could have looked better, I think, but that still is pretty cool. Here's another Pennywise just peering out through the door. Is the glass? Yeah, the glass on that one is also broken if you look closely. I like this one. This is a flag. It's not a door cover, but Derry is calling, and I love the way that one looks with Pennywise with his hair just, like, blowing behind him. Look, there's arms in his hair. It's the arms of the children. Here's a trick-or-treat flag with Sam on it. That looks pretty cool, too. And we got one more down here killer clowns from outer space welcome to the crazy show that's pretty cool that's another flag 14 foot light up banner i almost missed this it says happy halloween and stretches 14 feet across the front of your spooky haunted house let's look at these other wreaths too because this one's pretty cool this is a sam wreath and it has a button a try me button oh okay He's got lights on his that light up. Can you see those? Might be a little bit too bright in here. I didn't see any lights or a button on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but we also have this one down here if I can get it. Welcome to the Crazy Show. I don't see lights on there, but I do like the popcorn. That's pretty cool. And then we have Ghost Face here, and this one also has a button. So let me hang it up here. Hold on. Okay, so... Oh, okay, I see. There's tiny little lights around on this one that light up as well. I thought maybe the face would light up. You could actually change that though and put a light behind his face. That would be cool. And I do like how it also includes a knife. Okay, I said we were gonna look at the masks. So let's go ahead and make our way back here, guys, to this back little corner. All right, let's see. Will we see anything in this store that we have not seen in other stores? I have seen this one in other stores, but I love it so much. The Vintage Jolly Ghost Mask. Look how jolly that guy is. L. Wire Laugh Riot Clown Mask. He kind of looks like Nighty Night. And I do love the metallic masks. This one looks so cool. Flame Friend. Have we seen him? He's not lighting up, but he probably has that. Oh, yeah, he's got the tab there. You'd have to pull. I do like that Misfits mask down there, although I'm sure most people don't realize Misfits was an actual band. And I don't see anything else on this section that we haven't seen before. Hello, Crouchy. Uh, what the heck? That is a hard nose. All right, anything in this section that we haven't seen yet? I don't think so. Here's the ghostly ghoul with disgusting hair. I do like the sweet doll mask and the bloody psycho. <laughs> oh, and there's the nighty night right there. Wait, have we seen this one? Die laughing mask? 
That one kind of looks like Nighty Night, actually. And we can't skip over the vintage zombie mask. I love the green color on that one. We have seen most of these, and there's my Nightmare 4 mask that I love so much. I should just buy that thing already. But down here on the bottom, I see one that I don't think we've seen before. Look at this. It's called the Laughing Jester. Look, he's got disgusting green hair. <laughs> at first, I thought he was just crouchy hanging down there, but he's got green hair. Disgusting green green hair. And have we seen this green alien before? I'm pretty sure we have. Look at that. He's got a long head in the back. And look at those teeth. He definitely needs the Aquafresh. I think all of these are the Animotion masks here where like your chin fits in their chin. And when you talk, the mouth actually moves. Those are pretty cool, actually. Hello, Grandma. Hello, Grandpa. Have you taken the garbage out yet, dear? I will as soon as my sandwich is done. All right, these are more that we have seen. We got Star Wars masks down here. We have a couple of the Halloween Ends masks here. The Purge, more Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 1. Devil Face, Dead by Daylight Scream. Oh, they do have the aged mask here. That's cool. And the light up mask, as well as this crazy guy. All right, let's leave some stickers back here by the masks. Look at this. It's a construction cone hat. Have I seen that before? Ooh, here you go. This is kind of like a Tiger King cowboy hat. Oh, here's a door cover that wasn't over there. It's the Corpse Bride. I like that one. That's pretty cool. You know what, guys? I honestly don't know if I've ever seen the entire movie of the Corpse Bride. I should watch it tonight because it looks so good. In fact, I think I may even own it. And maybe I started it one time and then got interrupted or something, but I don't think I've ever seen the whole thing. What in the world is this shiny spider? This thing is heavy, too. That is no joke, man. I would not want to wake up to this thing jumping on my face. This is cool right here. A three-pack skull wall decor. We got a red, a gold, and a black, and they just hang on your wall. And right above those, these are really cool. The bleeding candles. We have black and white, but when you light them and they're melting, they actually melt red wax. Lots of stuff in the Nightmare Before Christmas section. And look at this. I don't think I've seen this before. Something in the wind. That is pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that one before. Here's an awesome Jack Skellington light. Wait a minute, here's a spells book. Is this an actual spells book? This is gonna be crazy. 1001 spells, the complete book of spells for every purpose. Okay, is it just decoration or is it actually a spell book? Let's see. Guys, it's an actual spell book. What the heck? We're gonna gently place that right back there and get far away from the witches. Oh my gosh, guys, for such a small store, they are absolutely packed with stuff. Two inflatable costumes that I have never seen yet. Look at this right here. It's the inflatable Looney Tunes Gossamer inflatable costume. What the heck? It's like a giant heart. Look at that thing. <laughs> and he even has hair across the top. And here is the other one that I don't think I've ever seen, but it is the most awesome inflatable dinosaur costume ever. Reptar from Rugrats. What the heck? $79.99 if you want to be Reptar. That guy is so cool right there. I think the inflatable costumes are my favorite of them all. But I do love the food costumes for some reason. They just crack me up. Look at this. We have the Works hot dog. We have the taco. I could go for some tacos right now. We have the pickle. I could not go for a pickle. <laughs> we got the banana. We got the inflatable corn. What the heck? That reminds me of the evil corn mask we saw in the other store. I can't believe it. Inflatable corn. $50 if you want to be an inflatable corn. Mom, can I be a corn for Halloween? Avocado and toast. I do not like avocado. Look up here. We have chips and salsa. I do like chips and salsa. We have couple noodles up there. There's an inflatable banana, peanut butter and jelly, which sounds absolutely delicious right now, and cookies and milk. Yum. But I think I'm gonna have to pass on that one because my favorite cookies are Chips Ahoy, but this looks 
like a chewy chips ahoy. No thank you. I do love this inflatable shark costume though. I think this one would be hilarious to wear if you were having like a Sharknado movie party. All right, let's leave a few more stickers. We'll put some down here by Ghostface and Sam. Couple by the zombie babies. Let's give a couple to the side steppers here. And we'll leave a couple for Gordo. All right, guys, I think I've seen everything I want to see in here, but I'm going to buy something today, and I think it's going to be this guy that I keep putting off, the inflatable spirit snake. Guys, what the heck? I have to leave disappointed. I got up to the counter. I set the snake down. I got my sticker ready for when I make my donation, and I didn't have my wallet. What in the world? How crazy is that? All right. I might swing back around here later tonight, so keep an eye out on the channel. If I come back and we get the inflatable snake, I will be doing an unboxing. Mm -hmm.